Alright guys, welcome back! We are going ahead and taking down the good old Goblin Invasion to start off with because these guys decided to be very, very rude and invade my world without my say-so or permission. But I guess the good thing about this is the fact that uh, afterwards the uh, the Goblin Tinker will of course be able to spawn, which is so sweet! So yeah, Goblin Tinker before dungeon. Not too shabby, not too freaking shabby, dude. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's have a bit of this again. Here we go. All the damage. Oh, I love me some damage. Look at all that. So much damage. It's fantastic. All right, look at that. Oh yeah, that's right. In the bottom right hand corner, you get the good old uh, you get the good old progress meter now, don't you? Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool being able to see just how far I get through this thing. That's amazing. I'm actually really happy they added that. I'm sure a lot of people, are, you know, I'm sure a lot of other people are happy with that as well. All right, okay. Do 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 do. Right, how's my health looking? Still got 200 left, pretty much. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Alright. Okay, are we going to get a harpoon today, ladies and gentlemen? That is the question that's rising to the surface for me. What is this? Strange plant. Can be traded for rare dyes. I have never seen that before. Okay. Well, that's pretty interesting. I mean, we're going to have to see what that does. Get the dye trader in at some point. It's like the first time I've ever talked to a die trader. Normally I feel like they're like completely useless. Oh, a harpoon! Nice. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like me a harpoon. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I can remember the very old days when you used to have a rare chance of getting rocket boots from these guys. But uh, obviously, now that the Goblin Tinker exists, you know, he gives you it instead. Which is cool. I like that. Okay. All right, you're dead. All right. Come on, you guys. Y'all are going to die as well. Alright, come on! Alright, you guys are out the game. Yeah! Come on, keep it going. Okay. Hi! Hi! How are you guys doing today? I'm just going through here and just murking your butts. Well, in the meantime, you know, I'm just having a great day. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. Under different circumstances, me and the goblins could probably be friends. Although technically we kind of already are because the Goblin Tinker is friendly, isn't he? So, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know where that logic was going, really. Alright. That guy's dead. That guy's dead. 75% of the way through, which is awesome. 77. I'm trying to I'm trying to guess how many goblins there are. Because it seems to be moving up like pretty much exactly a percent every time I kill someone. 84. 85. 86. Five, uh, okay, maybe slightly more than a hundred of them. Okay. If I was to guess, I would say, what, 120 goblins, maybe? I don't know, man. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. Come on. Is that everybody? 95% done. Hello. Good day. And... Goblin army has been defeated, but obviously we need to get the stragglers. So, let's kill these guys. Is that everybody? Yep, music has just changed back. Alright, sweet! We did it! We done did it, friendos! Oh, yeah! That was, that was easy, of course. I mean, I wasn't even... Wasn't even fussed or worried that I was going to die. Because, yeah, and such. Whoa! 553 Crimtain? Oh, what the hell? Has the amount of blooming Crimtain or the Brain of Cthulhu drops increased or something? That's crazy. Wow. Okay, quick stack. Let's do it with the quick stack action, shall we? Alright, that's not actually got rid of uh, uh, a whole lot of stuff now, has it? <laughs> okay, uh, no worries. Right, okay, so uh, let's go over to uh, the furnace over here. We are going to make ourselves... Oh, right, I managed to quick stack all the blooming things away. Dang it! I've been stupid. Alright, thank you. I'll have that. Yep. Very nice, very nice. Alright, let's go here. Let's make ourselves a whole bunch of bars. 550... Yeah, we've got... What can only be described as a stupid amount of Crimtain bars at this point. Look at this, almost two full stacks of bars. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Oh, man. Okay, uh, we've already got the artery, meat wall, flesh grinder. Oh, that'd be nice, actually. Yeah, I'll have one of them. Heavy. Ah, minus speed. Are you for real? Man, I want to have the speed. I love me some speedy mining, especially on a hammer. 
Makes building just that little bit easier, I guess. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, is there a bunch of stuff I can sell here? Right, strong rotted fork, ruthless rotted fork. You know what? That's probably going to be the one I keep. Uh, I'm going to sell this one. Harpoon, I'm going to keep that. Uh, Crimson Heart, we do not need three of these freaking things. That's ridiculous. Um, manic necklace or panic necklace? Why do I say manic necklace? Weird. All right, don't need this because we already have one. Okay. Mm. Other than that, everything seems to be good. Strange plan. Yeah, got to keep that. Got to, got to keep that. All right. Okay, so let's get on with making all the stuff and things. Here we go. Let's make the armor, crimson armor, which is very cool indeed. Because, of course, with the full set, it gives you very much increased life regen, which is fantastic. Damaged? I mean, that's okay, actually, because it doesn't reduce speed. So, do you know what? I'm not entirely fussed about that. Uh, the meatball? Well, it might as well. You never know. You never, you just, You just never know. I mean, I might just keep it just for the sake of saying I have it, I guess. Maybe... Eh, why not? Let's put this stuff on. 27 defense is what we have right now, compared to 20. <laughs> wow, that's pretty crazy, man. I like that. Wow, that is brilliant. Right, now, okay, so, what were we going to be doing? So, we've got the Great Wall of Subs going down here, and obviously we wanted to defeat the Brenner Cthulhu just so we could upgrade some stuff, so we could, you know, get on with the... Where's the grinder? There it is. Okay, so... We should now be able to start digging this out at a fairly speedy rate, so, yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to continue digging out this room, my friends, and then we're going to come up with a design on camera uh, for the Great Wall of Subs. So, yeah, let me get on with it, and I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Alright guys, here we are back in action, and as you can see, I have indeed gone ahead and I've made the box for the Great Wall of Subs. And one thing I should probably point out straight away is the fact that yes, this is rather small to start out with, but it will be an ever-expanding room, so I'm purposely not going to be making sort of any other sort of builds around here. Everything else will pretty much be on the surface in terms of builds. So uh, yeah, this will be an ever-expanding wall of subscribers and people who had their questions shouted out and whatnot. So, let's go ahead and come up with a bit of a design. Starting off with some chandeliers, because chandeliers look fantastic by all accounts. So let's go ahead and uh, see what kind of things we can uh, do right here. There we go, that looks pretty cool so far. Alright, so as you can see we've got sandstone brick walls, because you know, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So, just for once, one of the things I didn't forget was the fact that I had building potions, which is why I am able to place things so quickly. It's ridiculous. I love it very much. There we go. Okay, so we need to go back and make ourselves some more sandstone walls, because that would make sense, wouldn't it? Alright, so if we just pop back outside right here, and let's make ourselves some sandstone brick walls. There we go, 204 of them. Seems like a pretty uh, legit amount. Might even be enough to finish off this entire thing, perhaps. I don't know. We shall see. So let's go ahead and uh, fill it all in. Do 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 do. Filling all the things. There we go. There we go. And up there. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, got a little bit of a curvature going on here as well. There we go. That looks good. Right. And bit of wall there. Right. Okay. Uh, do you know what? Shh. Don't tell anybody you're summoning the Eye of Cthulhu. It's perfectly normal. It's perfectly normal for the Eye of Cthulhu to just come through and come in here and do stuff and things. All right, okay, all right. Now he's getting rained upon. Now I can do some actual damage. Fantastic. All right, Harpoon. Do you know what? This might actually do a decent amount of damage. Maybe? If I managed to hit him every time, that'd be great. I forgot. That's not really the fastest weapon in the world, is it? Eh, I don't know, man. Do -do 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 -do. Killing all the things, including the eyeballs. There we go. Come on. Keep it going. There we go. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. All the damage. All the damage. I'm loving all the damage. I just want to kill this guy just for the heck of it, I guess. Maybe we can start a bit of a trophy collection. I would like to try and get as many trophies as I can in this uh, Let's Play. That'd be kind of cool. Be a nice little thing to aim for. Good day. Oh, that's the only bad thing about harpoons. If you miss your shot, then it takes ages to retract. It takes ages to use again, basically. Alright, come on. Okay, come on. Up in here. Come on. Keep it going, friendo. Actually, this weapon is fairly quick, isn't it? 
It's a fairly quick weapon. I'm alright with that, actually. That's kind of cool. Alright, uh, later. All looking good. Right, okay, what do we got in here? 50 gold coins. Fantastic. That means we'll be able to buy the mini shark when it comes back to it. So, anyways, back to the building. I mean, you know, just took a bit of a break to defeat the Ave Cthulhu, like you do. Like you do. Uh, right, now then. Uh, yeah, right. Here we go. So, here's the plan. We're going to go down like so. And we are going to have uh, two rows of rope going up and down like so. Because I think that would look pretty cool. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have, like, rows of signs. So what we're going to do is make a bunch of platforms, just like so. And I need to try and figure out how exactly this is going to work. Because I want to have them be, like, spaced out. I don't want it to be... I don't know. Two, three, four. Hmm, that could work. That could work. At the same time, I kind of want a gap between them, maybe. I think that'll look kind of cool. You know, I want I want them to be special, man. I want them to be special. So, one there, one there. There we go. That looks a bit better now, doesn't it, actually? Yeah, I like that. I like that. All right. So, we'll do it for all the rest of them as well. So, let's go ahead and put a bunch of signs down. Obviously, these signs will be uh, written upon... When it comes to it, I'll probably do it off camera and I'll show you guys in the next episode. You know, all you guys' names who've, who have had their things shouted at and whatnot. And uh, talking of questions, let's go ahead and jump into one, shall we? And today's question of the video, my friends, comes from a user by the name of Peanut Boogie Butcher. And their question is, how long have you been on YouTube for? A lot of you guys may or may not know this, but before I had this channel, I did in fact have an old channel, and that old channel was started in December 2010. So, basically, the end of this year, ladies and gentlemen, is going to mark my fifth anniversary on YouTube, which is a pretty ridiculous amount of years to uh, to be doing one thing. It really is. I mean, I, I still very much enjoy it, so I don't see myself stopping anytime soon, so you got no worries of that happening, so... That's kind of cool, but I started this channel in uh, April of 2012 because I felt like my old channel wasn't doing too well and, uh, you know, I, I wasn't having a great deal of fun. I felt like my content was still, you know, subpar and I was like, you know what, I think a fresh start is needed and yeah, that's basically where this channel came from. And in fact, uh, one thing I should mention is the fact that uh, my 100,000 subscriber special, which I did on this channel, was, uh, was a bit of a history lesson for you guys. So if you guys ever want to go ahead and, uh, you know, brush up on your knowledge of me or this channel then there is of course going to be a link in the description if you want to go ahead and uh, educate yourself if you really want to but uh, yeah there we go not looking too bad so here's the plan we're gonna have a campfire I can't have a campfire I ain't got any wood left dang it man I'll just go out here really quick yes all right cool but yeah I've been on YouTube since December 2010 had this channel since April 2012 and yeah like I said not stopping anytime soon I'm very much still going I'm still having a lot of fun making videos and that's really the reason why I make them so yeah it's awesome so my question of the video to you guys is going to be this who was the first youtuber you ever watched leave your responses in the comments area below and of course guys if you want to leave your question or the video suggestions in the comments area below as well that'd be much appreciated and you will of course have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out so yeah awesome stuff indeed do you know what i should do do you guys know what I should do right now? Do you guys know what I should do? I should do a little something something. Hold on, I want to I wanna experiment really quick. So if I make this room maybe a block deeper, I kind of want to put statues down here. Maybe that'll work, maybe it won't work. Uh, yeah, it does work. Okay, fantastic. So we need to make this room one block deeper and then we can have this also be a bit of a, a, a statue monument kind of thing. Awesome! I love that. I've, I don't know why, but I always hoard all of the statues in Terraria. I, I've always done it. I don't know why. I'm just like, yep, I'm just going to collect these things. No reason to it. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> right, here we go. And yeah, just need to go ahead and uh, do this bottom section. Here we go. Replace that all with the good old fashioned walls. And aside from that, all should be good to go. Okay, so once again with the walls. In you go, friendo. Okay, and let's make this a full block again, because for some reason I messed it up. There we go, and we're going to have a campfire right here, and we shall have the good old uh, things going. Yeah, awesome stuff. 
awesome stuff. We can have all the things going in here. Look at this, heart statues. I should probably keep these uh, wire activate statues actually in this uh, in this place here. Uh, skeleton slime. Yep. So pretty much the only other one I can use are these two. So yeah, one there and one there. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, I love this. Very nice. Got a great wall of subscribers. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. So, guys, I think that is going to wrap it up for today's session, my friends. I do hope you guys have enjoyed the uh, the episodes and, of course, the session. And I very much appreciate you guys for sticking by me throughout this because, uh, you know, without you guys, the you know... This probably wouldn't be as much fun without your guys' feedback and whatnots and your suggestions. So, I just want to thank you guys for that. And, of course, I want to thank you guys for your patience while I've been on holiday. Obviously, again, you guys probably wouldn't have noticed it because, you know, I was <laughs> still had videos going up during then. But, yeah, like I said, I do appreciate your guys' uh, support very much. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to leave a like rating. And, of course, you guys can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But, yes, guys, that is going to wrap it up for me today. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.